Archie Manning and his son Peyton Manning. And Archie, let's begin with you. We'll kind of jump back and forth between Saints and Peyton's career. But uh, Bill Coherick really didn't touch on him. We didn't touch on that piece. The quarterback situation, Billy Joe Herbert, he's jeweler, probably Danny Werfel, or maybe trade up uh, in the draft. I mean, how do you kind of evaluate that position at this point? Well, I think it's something they're going to look at real hard because it's, it's, it's obviously it's very important, and it's very important to the Saints next year in regard to, the, to their offense. This year was a tough year at the quarterback position for the Saints uh, until Billy Joe came. I mean, it was, it was just a disaster, and I'm not putting a hat on Danny or Heath or anyone, but it was. Um, Billy Joe <clears throat> did some good things. In some people's eyes, it was great things, but I think our standards had kind of been lowered somewhat, and then in in the last game, uh, he, he kind of played like the quarterbacks did earlier in the year. So they, they've got to really evaluate him. Uh, I'm confident he's going to be here and competing for the job. I don't know if it'll be handed to him. I think Mike still believes in Heath. I'm not sure everyone on the coaching staff does, but uh, uh, I think Heath will be here competing. And uh, So I guess their big decision at quarterback, is there going to be anybody else in the mix? Right. Peyton, obviously, Nebraska picked by the coaches poll, number one. Probably wouldn't, wouldn't argue with that, would you? No, I wouldn't. Uh, they were a great team. and uh, it, um, It'd be interesting to see what would happen between Michigan and Nebraska in the game, but uh, I definitely think Nebraska deserves part of the national championship. When you factor everything in, and there's a lot of stuff to factor in, was it worth it? Oh, absolutely. Just, uh, just came back this year to, just to be a senior and have fun in college, and I created some more memories for myself. But... The SEC championship um, uh, in, uh, um, in December was special. The Orange Bowl wasn't as much fun as it could have been, but just the entire year, made a lot of friends this year. Uh, it was all worthwhile. Archie, heading back to the Saints, they've got really some cash to spend this year. Surprised at all that they're really not going to be ultra active uh, in the free agent market? Mike, um, the last few years, really, you look what teams have done, the ones that have gone out and spent the big bucks on one player. It's a lot of a lot of disasters there, and uh, I, I think uh, maybe mm -hmm. it's, it's not the Saints' nature uh, to do that. So I think they'll try to uh, really try to evaluate their own people, make, try to keep two good, really good defensive players, yeah. a couple offensive players now, a couple wide receivers are, are in the mix where they board it out. They want to see if they want to keep them or not, pay them some dollars. And then it, I guess it's, it's some security there, having some money if something comes up. Um, um, it's, you know, free agency now, what's it been, four or five years? Yeah. Everything's kind of shaken out, and um, it, lo it looks like the, the way to do it is, is try to still stay with the draft. If you've got some good players that also have good character, better keep them, pay them, and maybe look for the future and just keep trying to build. I think, I think Mike and his coaching staff are probably going to look hard at themselves, what they did in their first year, try to see if there was some mistakes there and just try to create maybe create some competition at more positions particularly offensively try to improve their offense try to maintain their defense if that's the case uh, I think they can be a very competitive football team next year. Peyton as you look to your future uh, first off have you stuck in an agent yet I guess that would be first and foremost. Not yet um, I'm going to be in town for a little while I'm going to kind of ask some questions and try to find somebody to represent me but uh, it's sort of a slow process I'm trying to learn as much as I can making the transition from college to pro football. People always want to know, I mean, Indianapolis has the first pick, Arizona, then San Diego. I mean, would you have any problems? Although, it's got to be nice, it's not your decision anymore, but any problems with any of those teams? Well, I don't know much about any of those teams right now. I'm asking a lot of questions, just trying to learn as much about those teams as possible. You know, as far as I'm concerned, all those teams have quarterbacks right now. So I'm sure there's a lot of uh, work to be done in between that time. But uh, I'm just learning all I can and, uh, and working out in the meantime and getting ready for the draft in April. And the big question every Saints fan wants to know, just, I don't think Indianapolis should trade it, but if the Saints should trade up, let's say they trade the farm and trade up and select you, would you have any problem playing for this team? No, I wouldn't have any problem. The people of New Orleans have been so good to me throughout my high school career, especially throughout my college career. I really appreciate all the great support they've given me, so that wouldn't be a problem at all. All right, Peyton, thanks a lot. We'll have a lot more coming up with Archie and Peyton as Peyton wrapped up his college career this past week. We'll also look towards his future. And as we go to break, here is that list of the Saints' 13 unrestricted free agents. Welcome back to Fourth Down on Four. Archie Manning and Peyton Manning joining us tonight. And Peyton, do you care at all? Some experts say maybe that you stage your senior year. And I highlight maybe because I don't think it will. 
might cost you the number one pick, might cost you millions of dollars. Do you care at all about that? Well, um, to me, it really doesn't matter where I'm picked, if, if, whether you're the number one pick or the number two pick or wherever. It really doesn't matter. I, I came back to become a better player this year, and I've done that. I've gotten stronger. Uh, I think experience is your best teacher. I played 13 games this year, so I'm a better player for whatever team takes me this year. Would you trade anything? One, two, one. Would you trade anything at all that you have now for the Heisman? And are you surprised at, at the disappointment, the anger, and really the venom that, that came out of that? Well, I'm really not surprised because the people of New Orleans, especially the people of Tennessee, are so supportive of, of me and our program there in Tennessee. And I can understand their disappointment. Uh, for me personally, I was okay, but uh, I, you know, um, it would have been nice to have brought that trophy home to them. So I can understand why they're so disappointed. But uh, I wouldn't change one thing. That uh, individual awards are nice, but they're not the most important things. So I came back to play team football this year. I had a great time playing with a bunch of great guys. Archie, obviously, you've played at the next level. What does Peyton? I hate to use the word need or lack, but what does what does he desire for the next level? Oh, I, I think you just got to grow into it, Mike. It's a huge transition for for anyone coming, much like college going into the SEC or say out of 2A football into the SEC. But maybe even more so now, even though he played in a great conference and <clears throat> against great competition, to go into the National Football League, and I think especially now for a quarterback, um, the game is more complex than it's ever been. The defensive players are more physical than they've ever been. <clears throat> and so it's really, uh, it, it's a tough and, and a huge transition. But at the same time, he, he's had good training at Tennessee. You know, he played under, in a good balanced offense with, that saw these, a lot of comp these, these complicated defenses have filtered down into the colleges now. So he needs um, some, some time and some experience and just to get in there and get with it. Can you even, can you even fathom the dollar figures that are tossed around. Even look at the number ones last year's, the Bledsoe's. Is that even hard to fathom? Uh, well, I guess so. And like I said, I still don't know where I'm going to go or well, forget what's just, out there. How about for me. just take forty million dollars? We'll, <laughs> we'll just throw out a figure: forty million dollars. That seems like a lot of money, I guess <laughs> uh, you could say. But I'm still learning. I, I, I'm trying to study contracts and study the salary cap. I, I want to know as much about everything as possible, so I can. Uh, sort of have an idea of what's going on with my future. Will there be a team Manning? Will, uh, I know Cooper's involved. Will, will, will you hire your pop and, and hire Cooper and all these people? Well, they're going to be involved. They're going to help me out as much as possible, but I, I don't think my dad's going to be in there on draft day helping me negotiate my contract. He's not going to be there. He's going to be there for advice like he has always been throughout my career, but uh, he's going to be a father throughout this whole process. Archie, when you look back at the Saints and you look, you think 1989, was the last year they had a thousand yard rusher, Dalton Hilliard. And you think really a thousand yard rusher now is only a guy averaging sixty three yeah. yards a game. Yeah. I mean, has that been the biggest problem of this team when you look back at it? Yeah, I think the last few years. Uh, maybe not so much the thousand yard rusher, it'd be all right if you had three eight hundred yard <laughs> rushers, but, but getting those running yardage really has been the problem. Seventh pick in the draft this year, I think the Saints can. I know I'm not telling the Saints who to draft, but it's early and you're going to have a lot of speculation. Evaluate a lot of players now. There's some good running backs coming, some good senior running backs, some real good junior quarterbacks are probably going to be out there. Seventh pick of the draft. If the Saints decide to go that way, uh, they're going to be able to pick up a real good running back. Peyton, how's the knee and how, what kind of distraction was that for you? It really wasn't a problem. Um, I would like to have said it was a problem. It's already didn't play very well, but it wasn't. Uh, Nebraska was just tough the entire game, and uh, I'm going to try to get it better during this month. That's kind of my number one goal is to be as healthy as possible, but at the same time working out, and if I'm healthy, I plan to go to the combines and work out there. And that's in February? That's in February. Gentlemen, thanks a lot for coming down on 4th down and 4. Always welcome, and good luck to you in the future. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. It was early for a Saturday, but no one seemed to mind. 